Hi guys, we're on holiday and one of my little gorilla pods has broken again. I'm pretty sure that leg's broken, that leg's broken and this is the one that hasn't broken in the past. So we've got to try and get this off so we can poke the wire through and push that one in. I think this is the only one that hasn't broken because it looks longer than the others. Yeah. Because all I do is I poke it out with the plastic and push it back in again because it's broken right on the edge there. The only thing is I'm a bit short of tools. I've got these screwdrivers so I'm going to see if I can Wedge them under there and ease it out. Not sure if I'll be able to do it. Normally I put a nice pair of pliers under there and that pops it out quite easily. It might be coming. Like it's almost there. There we are. Right. Now in the past I've actually, first time I drilled a hole down through, the second time I just tapped a nail through because when you tap it through from the top it pushes it out of there. At the moment you probably can't see but it's, it, that hole doesn't go all the way through, it's sealed. But if you bash a nail down through there, then it will push it straight out. But like I said, I don't have a nail. I would think if I hit the end of this, it will probably break it. I don't want to damage anything here. I if I can just push down. I think I've done it. It's coming out. So close to being all the way out. I need something with a hole in it, otherwise I'm pushing on to there. Find something with a hole. Very definitely having to be inventive here. That's got a hole in it. Don't want to open the hole up too much or it won't grip that wire when we push it back in. Use the same diameter. I don't want to push it through suddenly and make a hole in that. I'll turn it over, it won't be so noticeable. I have to have a look around, see if I've got anything thin that I can push through there. 
Right, bit more searching. I've got my good old pound lamb screwdriver here. So any of those bits long enough to go through. Right, so that's what we've got to replace. Just need to flatten that somehow. And push it back in. I'll probably have to go and find a, a rock out on the beach or something so I can flatten that because I haven't got a hammer anywhere. Right, straightened it out a bit with a rock. And that's split there. I think we'll still be all right. You might just be able to see the silver in the middle there where I've pushed it back through. go. Put that one back in there. Loosen that up. There we go. That's one I've pinched off of a Poundland tripod because the original one broke. I don't know why I keep repairing this because they're uh, pretty cheap anyway. But uh, it's just handy to have it working. Job done with minimal tools. I do keep these in the um, in our laptop bag. You just never know when you're going to need something. And this one stays in the car. the one I use most often on this screwdriver but I have learned that if you leave it in the car with that one in there it drops out and you lose it and never find it again somewhere in the car so I always make sure all the pieces are in the back there so it can't drop out and get lost right Job done. Thanks for watching. Check out the video description down below for more information. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you like that one, you might like to subscribe over here.